Hey all, this is Urson. Welcome back to our free-for-all. Uh, we just are doing beautifully right now. We took the Cree capital last turn. We're gonna start moving toward Ojibogomo and uh, you're thinking, you know, you're at three happiness. How can you handle this? Well, here's my plan. I still have six turns on my next social policy, right? Thanks to that awesome World Congress, uh, World's Fair victory, which gives us rationalism finisher, which gives us a free tech, which I'm gonna use to bulb radio, which in turn gives us ideology, which lets us take a really good happiness tenant to absorb this. And I need a coastal city we need a way to secure our western border so we can just move in eastward. It should be relatively easy to do. Uh, he's going to try to retake the city a bit, but um, I'm going to ping that. Obviously, I'm not trying to kill that guy. I don't really care. The other thing we noticed last time, and uh, it's a little dangerous. There's a settler here from the Zapotec that wants to steal Kilimanjaro from me. So luckily, I have enough cash to prevent that from happening. As you'll see, there he is, that cheeky little git. Um, he's going to try to establish a city out here. I think that may have discouraged him enough. I didn't want to lose um, Kilimanjaro just for some sort of silly little thing. Yet annoying city I'm going to have to kill later anyway. My next season thing is going to go there. I still want to keep my production pretty high here. Um, and once we get the factory out, then we'll be able to get uh, the culture kind of side on this better. You need to finish this road. We need more money. And that would be a big help. You, I think, need to start pinging some stuff. You come over here and you can ping later, I guess. Go there. The general is ready to go, but yeah, we're about to get some serious, serious aluminum. We have so much. It's 8 plus 8 plus 3. That's 19. 19 <laughs> aluminum without any recycling centers or anything. That's amazing. When was the last time you saw that one, my LPs? Really, really impressive. This city's growing really fast. I'm going to keep constructing farms for the moment. Spartacus. Nice. All right. <laughs> Nothing like a badass general to keep your, keep your day rolling. We're going to leave him there for now. Uh, now that we're at peace with the Zapotec, except for that, that settler might have caused me to kill them some more, but we're at peace with the Zapotec, so we're going to roll this musket man up and use that for the siege of Ojibogomo. Our spy is going to be there in a turn. We'll see if that actually um, weakens the defenses as soon as he gets there or not. I'm not entirely certain how that works. We'll figure out the mechanics soon enough. Uh, I do want a Swiss Guard at some point, but this is so damn expensive that I'm going to wait a little bit until I have cash. Uh, we should have that pretty soon, though, but we still have that one gat to upgrade, so ah, all these considerations. The Dene are in the industrial. We got a free general. Oh, that's right. The Blackfoot are still at war with the Zapotec. Yeah, they are. Okay. So that's why. That's good. I'll keep him busy uh, in case he decides to do something stupid on me. I know the spy slid the city capture. Da 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 da. Yeah, we'll let your transition slide. He stole stuff from me last time. And Blackfoot coup in Bratislava. All right, well. Uh, city became religious. Well, it's been. Oh, crap. Seriously, we got pressured out. Man, we got pressured out by our own religion. Buddhism, man, that freaking that, uh, that tenet, man, that tenet of itinerant preachers is so strong. I can't, uh, can't really fight against that. Uh, that's why I was so sad when the AI got it. But anyway, we have a lot of, um, aluminum now. Let's just keep rolling. Uh, yep, you're welcome. I, I had to entrust it to you because you're gonna win anyway, so, uh, I guess I'll take credit for that. Oh, sorry, I got extra luxury to can sell. Seven GPD, Monty? Yeah! Alright. Oh, we actually need to start getting our last uh, trade route up here. Hold on. An enemy is Nia. Oh, no. Ah, there we go. He's not going to last. <laughs> We're fine. We're good. Yay, and another artist. Brilliant. What do we got? Remington. Remington, what with the guns and all. Yeah, there we go. Dash for the timber. Bang, bang. Alright. Uh, we do want to get that last trader up, because I think I have another slot, and we still can send... Well, yeah, from Zachila to the capital to keep us growing. We have to f finish specializing up, because we still have two scientist slots not being worked. Um, so we're going to get... I think I queued it up. Yeah, I queued it up here. Hey, memory. Uh, let's get a caravan. Pop that up first. I'm not too worried about losing the uh, porcelain. Wow, we got this already. Thank you, extra culture. We're going to need all this aluminum before... Brussels get... Ah, oh, it's brilliant. I love it. Love extra culture, man. Good times. Uh, you're good to go. And let's keep rolling this way. Uh, bang. Bang. No, not you. Bang. She bang! She bang! Alright, this way. Uh, here. Okay, good. I'm gonna start rolling around here. This city should be easy to take. The defense is already neutralized, it seems. Soon as we move the spy in. Yep. Oh, nice. Uh, new decision. What do we got? No, I don't need money right now. I'm doing actually okay on cash. I mean, I always need money, yes, but we're doing all right. Hey, volley, cool. And since it's already neutralized, we're going to let our cannons get ready, get set up, and just take this in like a turn or two. We're going to take some attrition from this Gallius, but hopefully not too much. 
Mushketman, go up here. We're gonna need the general to follow him. Uh, just to control that side a little bit better. You, yeah, you need to get this road done so we can actually connect the capitals. So all these roads are not pillaged. Yes, okay, good. Then we're gonna replace all of this with trading posts. We're not gonna use Sippy Winniewok for much of anything. Save money. Uh, we have some, probably some fruitful, um, cities for that. And since we're gonna need to annex Oji Bogomo in order to control the sea route, uh, production, I'm, I don't think I can actually afford to uh, annex and fully use this one to grow. I won't be able to support it with happiness, so step by step, we'll get there. But we have a lot of aluminum to produce, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, new decision we know, we grew, we got an artist, everything is good. Yo, you want a trade route, huh? If anyone's expiring soon. Yeah, Brussels is expiring in a bit. We'll be able to send one to him Bonza Congo, make them happier. You need to fortify, buddy, because you got, you took it on the chin a little bit there. Uh, you're fine for now. You're still fortifying for now. Good. Okay, this should be enough of a force. I'll probably upgrade my guy into a Swiss Guard next turn. So let's put him... Ah, oh, we always do it next turn. Let's wait till next turn then. Haha! <laughs> did you actually settle a dumb city or did I discourage you? Oh, he still might settle actually. That might be irritating at best. Uh, one, two, three. Ah, he's not going to really impinge my borders too much unless he drops a general there or something. In which case, we'll just kill him. That's just kind of how we roll. Uh, you, yeah, I don't really care about this so much. We're okay on the city defense. Nothing really will be able to take it with the two gats sitting there. So let's go this, that's uh, still in range. So let's go here. Take that gat out and go here. And that'll put us in ready to attack mode. Lapis, yes, you want lapis. Uh, seven. Concomly, I did nothing to you. There we go, fine. He's just a hard bargainer. He's just like, hey, I, I know my own worth. I'm fine, fine. Here, take it, take it. Take it and choke on it. Monty has declared war on Mountain Maker. Oh, you opportunistic little shit, you. Oh, my God. He's just like, he's getting the crap kicked out of him. Time to declare war. I mean, he has got two cities, so I suppose this is the most sensible thing he can do, but damn. All right, well, looks like Pound Maker is getting pounded pretty hard. I feel that was not supposed to be a joke that just kind of came out. Um, he's, yeah, he's not gonna be very happy. Why are we at minus one happiness all of a sudden? Did we lose something? I'm not entirely certain what happened there. We may have lost influence with the city-state. Ah, that may have been it. Uh, we need to do something about that at some point. Can we purchase stuff anywhere? Do you have, we have mosques here already. Can we do anything that actually may give us happiness? Happiness is a warm gun, but additionally, it also requires us to build stuff. I'm focusing on factories right now, which is still really important, um, but after the factories, I need to get some happiness buildings up, obviously. I'll take the Coliseum out quick, and I'll be really quick after that. Uh, you do the same, actually. I know that I want that public school, but I need happiness right now. All right. Well, it looks like taking OJ Bogomo might really kick us in the teeth, um, but is there any trades I can do, actually? Let's see. Oh, he can. Oh, cotton. Cotton for olives? Oh, if I had known that, I wouldn't have traded my last lapis out. Damn it. Um, what deal is ending first? Oh, probably olives, obviously, since we just traded lapis, so do that. Nice. Okay, once one of our olives trades ends, we should be able to stabilize a little bit. Olives for wine, can't change that one. Basically, one of the olives for money trades. That one, on turn 225. That's a little ways away, damn. All right, well, not much to do except just cry bitter tears. We have a Swiss Guard. Really cool icon, I gotta say. Look at that. That is brilliant. Even the unit model and everything. Really neat. Not, uh, it's just, I'm, a con I'm continuously, continuously impressed, I gotta say. All these, all these mod makers really, really do some good work. All right, you, yeah, nothing is coming this way for sure now. He's pretty much game over for him. We're gonna keep pinging just for the sake of extra experience, but I'm no longer in threat of losing anything. Go here. Oh, you can't fire yet. Oh, you cheeky monkey. All right, that's fine. Oh, we're gonna sit out here, just make sure nothing comes this way, but we'll, we're all right besides. His Ogachida is completely healed. We'll keep him in the city for now, just for the sake of... Actually, no, let's take him out. Get him ready to attack the Cite. Go right there. Uh, we can put you in the city and heal. And we're gonna start moving some of these guys to cities to keep our money up a little more. Um, just because we can get a little more cash out of this and maybe... Maybe, maybe get some happiness at some point. Uh, Musket Man, go here. Spartacus, if you'd like to join him. Yes, he would. Okay, good. Our cannons are almost ready to move in. 
We, we're running out of Call of War pretty soon, so we're going to have to do this quick. Uh, but a couple of cannon shots on a 21 strength city is going to be uh, provide a decisive end to this entire encounter. Though I'm really unhappy about this. This is concerning to me. Uh, but we will deal with that with our ideology at some point. Oh, crap. Autocracy. Okay, so Blackfoot is first to ideology. Uh, someone beat me. Hey, free money. I like that. Wow. Into our coffers. Beautiful. Um, but it looks like, yeah, Blackfoot are first to ideology. I think it's going to be necessary. I really hope I can get this soon. Because uh, getting... I'm thinking of order again. <laughs> again. It's just going to be the quickest way into early happiness that we can possibly manage. So... Yeah, I think order is going to be a necessity, and especially with the factories and all the other stuff that's coming up, it's going to give us a lot of happiness to play with. But taking Oji Bogomo, I think, is still important now, despite the fact that I may suffer for it. Um, oh, no, we can get a Calcium out here real quick. All right, let's do that. <laughs> We're going to delay the Porcelain Tower some more. Uh, but that's going to be... If, if we co conquer the city too early... We're going to lose uh, way too much. If we go in minus 10, then we are really, really badly off. Hi, missionary. I guess I can conquer you, I suppose. Here, just take him. Thank you. We can sell him probably for something. Protestant missionaries. Okay. Uh, here and then boom. I guess here and then boom. Yeah, I don't want to... I think he's abandoned the city. I don't see the ship anymore either. Okay, that works for me. I'm going to roll up here. Set up cannon. Set up cannon. Uh, you can go next to the city and be ready to bombard. You next to the city and be ready to take, I guess. I go here and ready to take. You can only move here. To bombard, you can move in this way for more targets. A general for support. Now we have generals both on our front lines, I think. Yeah, there you are. Go there. Uh, and then we can... Oh, we can use our Swiss Guard. I want to see the other side of this unit. Look at that. <laughs> He's actually backwards still. He's marching backwards. The Swiss have designed a very devious, devious military strategy of marching backwards constantly. It's like, they'll never know which direction we're going, sir. Ha, ah, brilliant. All right, well, we'll see the front of that unit at some point. We have cotton, brilliant. Uh, Inuit still architecture. We will let that slide. Spies work harder. We could, it's like, we've been asking for constabulary for like seven generations. Quiet, work harder. No sympathy for you. All right, I almost had him. Almost got him. Oh, well. Uh, well, I can't move higher without uh, higher. Good Lord. It's... <laughs> I'm starting to lose. I'm starting to lose my ability to speak the English language, sir. Um, damn. We upgrade the GAT. We could possibly buy another Colosseum, but that's going to be too little too late. Anyway. We're going to get the ideology soon at some point. So let's go here, upgrade that. A little more strength. Uh, you're fine there. Caravan, what were you doing? Oh, this was the Brussels route. Can we send it, like I said, to... It was Mabanza Congo, I think, wanted that? Yeah, it wanted a route. And where is Mabanza Congo? Okay, let's do this the hard way. Where is Mabanza Congo? Oh, there. Yeah, I'm not sending you a route right now. It's going to get pillaged, like, the moment it goes up. So that just means, I guess, we're going to send it to... Um, we can get 11 gold from Onondaga and feed them religious pressure. That's not bad. So right now, the religious pressure is way in the favor of Buddhism. Good God. <sighs> All right. Well, looks like... Uh, hmm. Well, if we keep sending our to Brussels, we'll never get the uh, trade route quest, right? So let's keep uh, Iroquois in the game a little bit. And there's still a decent amount of cash anyway, so that'll be fine. Good enough. What's, what's up with you? Oh, Caravan. You ended too? Yeah, both my money routes ended. Wait a minute. Hold on. Food from Manitouli to Mackinac. Food from Moniwanakani to Mackinac. Oh, I produced this other one. Ah, that's what happened. That's right, that's right. Grenizachula is sending food to the capital. Right, that's what we were doing. Oh, God, it took me for a loop for a second there. I feel, I feel a little slow sometimes. Um... Red Engineer 2500. Yeah, that might be a little while. We might be getting scientists before that. Since we'll be finishing Rationalism in 3. And then we can think about our happiness issues. Oh, we lost Alliance with Brussels because the Chinook freaking took it from us. That's what happened when we lost all that happiness. We were getting cocoa from them. Ah, I see. I see. Monty's trying to take the city. Oh, that would be funny if he managed to pull that off, huh? 
No, that would actually suck, but we can do a lot of damage and take it, I think, regardless. Yeah, we gotta be a little careful now, because apparently they are thinking about it. We can bombard this with melee. If we now we got this. We got this. Who wants some experience? Uh you don't have you could use some experience actually, because you're almost at cover. Homely, so 25% combat in in territory, okay. Altitude training, good. City plunder, palace defense. Okay, so wow, a lot of power. 100 percent extra when near the capital with these promotions. Wow, 48 strength near the capital? No wonder you hire these guys. Damn, that's really strong. Oh, now I know why they're expensive. Let's get him some promotions then. We can do this again because of our stealthy benefit. That's pretty cool. No uh, area of effect control. So go here and take the city. Take Oji Uh Let us puppet. As we go down to minus 10, that's what I was afraid of. But we're going to get up to positives in a second. I mean, positives. Over minus 10 in a second. With the, um, the Colosseum. I'm also thinking I should buy another one somewhere. Maybe in Zachelix. We're not going to get to build this thing anytime soon. We don't have a Coliseum here yet. Yeah, let's just buy one here. Yeah, let's do that. That way we will minimize the likelihood of nasty rebels popping up. Because that would be unfortunate. Can't steal from the Kree, we know. Um, but we just fled the city capture, so no worries. City connection, so 50 gold a turn. Why should Kokomli end it? All is Kokomli. Oh, that didn't help things either. Uh, Kokomli, hey buddy. Wine for olives like we were doing? Oh no, we just got our olives back, right? What? Okay, I can vote no for world religion Catholicism. That'll that'll be fine. I like that. Yep, that'll play, that'll be good. Okay, cool. So now we're still neutral, but as soon as we get our one of our wine for money deals, I mean olive for money deals done. Oh, we can get another olive plantation. Ah, uh, yes, that I think will be a, more of a priority than anything else right now. Oh, there's another one right here. Oh no, that's already done. Yeah, but this one, this one we can do olives on. Go quickly. Quickly now. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Stay there. Uh, we'll keep an eye on what the heck uh, everyone else is doing, but for now, yeah, we're going to start turning this into trading post land, because I do not want it to grow. Nay. Uh, yep, we're going to go here and do trading post. And you moved already. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna play uh, whack-a-mole with all the uh, workers, as you've seen me do before. All right, Oji Bogomo is ours. Yay. We have another Lapis to trade, technically. We probably now, now we really should have traded Lapis to Monte, otherwise we would have been in better shape. Who wants Lapis Lazuli? A lot of people want Lapis Lazuli. Hey, buddy. What's going on, weirdo? Lapis for Silk? Nope. Um, yeah. Yeah. You... Yeah, you're fine. I really need an extra luxury, but no one seems to have one. Monte wants Lapis as well. Ah, I don't have money. Okay. It's going to be worth my while. You want to give me seven? What's going on? You can give me seven, I think. Oh. Please? No. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Don't be like Uncomely. All right, fine. If it must be, it must be. All right. And we'll get that other olive plantation. And between that and our ideology, we should really stabilize quickly. That was a big jump of cities that we needed to take. Uh, but we'll, we'll get that resolved. We'll have courthouses up here, and that'll really fix the issue. You need to not be starving. Why are you starving? You should not be starving. Like, honestly, you should not be starving. I'm not really certain why. There should be enough food. Work the food tiles then, damn it. Alright, <laughs> hopefully won't lose the population for no good reason there. It's really kind of silly why that's working out that way. Huh. We could ping this guy, but let's have him defend against uh, Monty a little more. So I'm pretty much done with the Kree. We can make peace. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty much lost everything, so he's obviously not going to give me anything except for white piece. That's fine. I don't really care anymore. I have what I wanted. I have his two cities that were near me that would potentially pose a threat. So at this point, I'm just going to keep building what I'm building, refocus internally, get artillery, and then probably go after Monte Alban. And that will give me at least silk and mitigate that happiness hit. I don't want this to be lost to the Blackfoot. But it might be handy. I should prevent me from needing to go through him, I guess, to get to Concomly, but... Once I take Monte Alban, I think the Zapotex will be more or less done for, and I can focus probably... Oh my god, the Sioux are expanding hard. I mean, and I was about to say, probably focus on someone who's really strong out here, and that would be the Sioux. Look at this guy. He is everywhere. Damn. And his capital's over there. They're not too far away. I can have a kind of a long march moving across here and taking it, but it'd be rough to, to conquer. I may go north then. 
and take Monty. That may require some naval repositioning, but that's fine. I'll have superior technology, I think, by a lot. I'm just kind of think of where my next movements are. Probably taking Onondaga just to keep the capitals rolling. Monte Alban, Tenochtitlan, and kind of keep rolling on this whole domination streak. I think we can do pretty well with domination this game. We had a good strong start. Can I sell you for money, missionary? Nope. All right, we're just going to delete you because we're not going to use you to spread Protestantism anywhere. All right. Uh, okay, cool. Victory. Yay! And we're going to have a city connection right away. So as soon as the city starts producing stuff, we'll have more money. Even more. We're going to... Don't need to lock you down here anymore. We're going to leave one of the guns that's not... Um, mountain spec I guess, up here. For now. We don't need to really defend that tile. We're doing good. And we're going to remove some of these roads as well. We don't need this war road anymore since we got in. No problem. All right. Musket man. Yeah, let's start re-garrisoning some troops just because... Money savings is going to be important right now as we figure out our next move. Let's do that. General, I think I'm going to put him... There's no threat down here, I guess, but let's put the other general in Zakila uh, soon. Let's get him down there. You are going to send food to the capital, to Mikhil Makinak. Yep. Brilliant. Yes. All right, that way we can grow a little faster there despite the unhappiness and despite um, <laughs> the lack of food. We're probably going to leave. Uh, we do have any more gas without mountain promotions. Are you one of them? You are one of them. Okay. Let's bring you out that way. We're not going to keep you out there. I want these guys on the front lines. They can actually move. And next turn. All right. So brilliant. So we've really got our stranglehold on the western continent here. We have a nice pile of red growing. We're going to make that go all the way, all the way up to Alaska, effectively, and take uh, Monty down. And after that, we'll really have to see what we can do. Um, I don't necessarily want to kill the Dene yet. Just because they're one of the few that are still friendly to me, along with the Blackfoot. I'm going to leave them for last. So I think the Sioux are going to be the biggest difficulty here. But besides that, man, I don't know. We're going to need a lot of happiness this game, which I'm really glad. I have a pretty decent culture output, and we're going to go protectionism. Because plus two happiness from each luxury resource is really going to add up when we start taking them all down. That's going to really be the limiting factor of this game, is the, uh, the happiness issue which we will need to deal with. So you're going to go here because why would you not go to a tile with two production and two food? I know you're production focused and all, but buddy, buddy, that's just silly. That's just silliness right there. All right, we're at seven. Uh, slowly but surely, we may... Don't call me Shirley! We need to get these olives back up. That's what we need right now. Uh, five turns till this happiness gets plus fourd. Oh, man, yeah, we have, we have a lot of stuff rolling right now. Uh, you, okay, let's play whack-a-mole some more. Uh, I need you to grow less, so why don't you come up here and make a trading post? All right, we whack a mold some more. Where did you move? Probably to here. So we're going to whack a mold a little more and take one of these in the trading post. Maybe once he stays put, I'll uh, I'll leave the trading post alone. Uh, yep, you're good there. Switch out the Swiss Guard, so you're a non mountain type guy. Brilliant. Roll you up. You can heal up. Uh, and the cannons are doing beautifully. Let's put the cannons in the cities, I think. That might not be a bad idea. You go here for now. I'll figure out what to do with you later. You go to the capital. What else we got? Yep. Wow, another. Jesus, look at this. Itza, Picho, Yank, Denai. Like, the Sioux are just pretty much playing like America did last game. Just non-stop city spam. Good God. How many cities do you have, actually? I'm curious. He has quite a lot, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has eight cities, including his capital, so that's nine. The Sioux, wow, he's definitely being aggressive now. And he has, wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cities, eleven with his capital. I mean, we're no slouch this game either. We've got about six. But he has dropped a lot, and we're going to need to deal with these cities promptly. This is getting ridiculous. We could probably convince people to go to war with the Sioux, though, because they're pushing on a lot of borders, and no one is happy about that. I'm pretty sure the Dene are not happy either. We can use this mutual hatred to our advantage, I think, um, as long as he doesn't get too powerful. Remember, we did that to America last time. We convinced people to go to war, and then they just got their faces kicked in. So, oh, God, that's going to be scary. He looks like one of... I thought it was going to be Zapotex running away here, killing the... Iroquois, but the Blackfoot put a stop to that, and now it looks like the Sioux have taken over. There's a lot of strong AIs here. The Chinook are pretty strong just because they've been left alone, but they stopped their wonder spamming because now I'm getting them. Ha <laughs> ha! So we've managed to kind of put that to bed. 
uh, for the moment. Go there, lock in. You are locked in. Yep, you fortify up. Yeah, we're just gonna get our troops properly established where we want them to be. Kind of controlling our frontiers. Let's control that frontier. You keep an eye on whatever the Sioux are gonna be doing. Because I, I think the Sioux are gonna come after us next. It's pretty much inevitable. Luckily, we have a couple of Medu to burn to have Singapore declare war on them, to have Bucharest declare war on them, and they might actually knock these crappy little cities down pretty fast. So that'll be pretty nice. Uh, you grew, we took care of that already. Excellent. What, city became religious? Oh, you went back to my religion. Excellent, I'm very happy about that, actually. Um, no friends of Belgrad. The Vatican wants what? A great engineer. Eh. How are we doing on faith? Are we winning the faith one? Yay! Okay, cool, we'll get friends with... Might be able to get the Vatican away from the Blackfoot. That's possible. Next turn, for the moment. Right, we almost have our factories up, and we'll have ideology next turn, not this turn, when we adopt uh, Modern Era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. We've been at each other's throats since the beginning of this game. I've been at yours. You've been at mine. Brussels election rigged. I do need to keep Brussels in my sphere of influence, uh, but I can't do anything with that. Let's keep rigging for the moment. Fertilizer to help uh, Manitoulin grow a bit. But now we can do that policy I've been talking about. Scientific revolution. Booyah. We get a free tech, which is going to be radio. Puts us into the modern era, which gives us ideology next turn. Free spy as well. Now we need to reassign some of these guys. These guys playing defense. Are any of our, no, none of our other cities really are ripe for um, taking. So why don't we take Kimi Woon here? and go, we we'll probably start rigging somewhere else with one of our weaker spies. Maybe start rigging Quebec City to keep our... Well, that's going to be a while, though. And do we have a neat luxury in Quebec City? Is that worth it? We have dyes here. No, that'll be worth it. Let's put... Let's put... Tai Busigai. Wow, I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep trying, guys. I'm going to keep trying, but <laughs> no promises. In Quebec. And then let's take... Since... Who's the tech leader? Am I the tech leader now? I am the tech leader now. Good. Let's see if someone... Let's go spy on the Sioux a little bit. See if we can get something out of them. We probably can. We've been beelining a lot of higher techs. We probably missed a few on the way. What is his capital crap? Is it Hunk Papa, I think? Hunk Papa is his capital, yeah. Let's send you there. Hunk Papa. Spy. All right. Perfect. Um, You. Yeah, we're still whack a mole right? Yeah. So let's go take care of that farm tile. Soon and very soon we'll be able to do this. Do we... Pillage that road? We didn't. Okay, never mind. Uh, you're good. Yeah, you're frontiering around. Let's frontier a little bit here as well, just to keep an eye on whatever anyone's doing. What else we got? Who needs orders? You're good there. Keep an eye on the suit. You. I don't know where you're going. Why don't you go here? Keep an eye on stuff. Musket man. Control the pass. We need to still control this pass, so let's put the musket man down there. Controlling that pass. Uh, you're good there. What else we got? You're good there. Next turn. Hey, he settled the city here probably thinking that he wanted to get coal, but he also had more wild bison now roaming his land, so that's a little annoying. Uh, where were you going? Were you not going to go here? I was pretty sure I sent both my cannons towards cities. Mm, where are you going? Uh, you go here. Like I said, you go here. Like I said. Yeah, alright, next. Uh, we just gotta get out of this happiness hole, uh, but next turn basically once we have um, order, assuming no one adopts it this turn. We can still probably still go order and get uh, some good stuff, but I really like two free policies. This unfortunately will kind of hit our reputation with the Blackfoot a little. The advantage is they're not the highest on tourism, I don't believe, not that. I'm looking at this. Uh, there we go. Blackfoot have six tourism, yeah. So we can start really adding pressure to them. We're even with the Chinook on tourism. That's pretty good. So Blackfoot Confederacy, you all need to get ready to get some pressure from us. Order is kind of a no-brainer. It's got the most happiness stuff, and that's going to be on a small map. So this is the thing. It's a standard map, but we have 10 sieves, which means I need to conquer more in order to get a uh, domination victory. But we don't have that kind of leeway of a bigger map since we are running on a standard template where cities new cities you found cost less happiness um the bigger the map gets the less each uh the penalty is for founding a new city so we need to really dig in and get extra happiness here which is exactly what we're going to do really happy about rationalism being done though all right um well socialist realism is a no-brainer 
I also still want to get here with the people early. I know there's a lot more happiness to be get gotten, but this should put us in positives. It does. We will get more stuff from positives in a second. And I do want this, because this is just going to help us with tourism. Uh, really, really powerful. Just like the one from Freedom. Those 25% uh, modifiers are huge. Alright, well, it looks like we're going to have to... We're probably going to have to change this into a trading post, too. So let's do that before we move out here. Alright, you did good here. Why have we not expanded the salt yet? Can someone tell me, like, seriously, why someone has not expanded to the salt yet? It's such a strong tile. <sighs> We have to buy this really for 90 gold. Right, you know what? I'm I'm getting angry. I'm gonna just build that up. All right. So now we're back to full on happiness, full on production uh, with our cities. Now we're gonna have the Coliseum, public school. Finally, finally, we're gonna get our infrastructure up. A uh, factory is gonna be done soon. Yeah, I'm really glad I took the uh, radio route for ideology. You better not even think about it. You're not even near your border. Don't threaten me with that crap. What are you doing? All right, let's just keep an eye. I'm. Uh, it's obvious I don't trust the Sioux because all my <laughs> Ogichita are up there going, going. I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing? You used to be going to Quebec City. Okay. Wow, we can get a lot of money from the Zapotec. Is Zapotec our next target? Let's think before we send this route because I do want a lot of cash. That'd be nice. But are the Zapotec our next target? And if so, if so. Oh wow, Korea really going down. Um, if Zapotec are our next target. Are we going to go after them before 30 turns elapses? Let's see. How close are we to artillery? By the time we build artillery and get our troops up, I think we can still get a benefit from this trade route and get a lot of money. So let's do that, and then we'll be ready to take them very fast. And it'll help us stabilize our happiness and everything. So let's take that into consideration, but I think we'll be fine. Let's go to Montalban and get a lot of cash for our trouble. New decisions. Oh, yes, we can do this again. Uh, magistrates, I want to be able to get University's Funding Council at some point, so that's going to be useful. We need archaeology for that. After f Dynamite, I'm probably going to queue that up. Rifling would be nice, though, since our Ogichita are kind of low on power compared to Musketman. They're only at 21. They're longsword strength. Let's get Rifling and then Archaeology, I think. Then we'll go to Biology, as we tend to, and we'll see what the heck to do after that. That, I think, makes sense. Embargo the Blackfoot I don't want to vote on, but uh, let's see. New decisions. Yeah, we took to that already. We're not going to use any of our magistrates yet. Next turn. Yeah, we got to get that um, Circus Maximus up too, because that's going to help a lot on our happiness issues. We got to get our Coliseums up for that, though. We bought one here. We're going to build one there. We built one in our capital already. And before we annex, we'll build the uh, Circus Maximus. That'll stabilize us out. I'm going to start saving scientists for bulbing now. I'm not going to make academies. Uh, I don't have all my... Public school's up, but I'm about to. It's as good a, good a litmus test as any to make sure we have a nice big bulb of science when we need it late game. So we're going to keep saving that. You got a new population, which is going right to the university. Onward and upward. Uh, you, yeah, we're going to keep playing whack-a-mole here. So trading post to remove that food tile. Are you going to stay there? You're not going to stay there. Nope, you're going to that one. <sighs> I'll get him eventually. It's like I'm really bad at whack-a-mole, it seems. All right, stay there, Spartacus. Uh, you do the salt. You stay there. Actually, we're, no, we are setting a cannon there. That's fine. Uh, you, uh, you are the Swiss guard. Your job is to stay near the capital and be strong. So why don't you stay near the capital and be strong, yeah? Perfect. New decisions. I told you, I don't want to do... Oh, no, tax reforms. No, no, I don't want to do that either. Next. We're almost out of turns on this insane culture boost. Uh, two turns left on it, but... We'll make do. What? 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 Cannon, you're fine. Stay there. Prosper. You will soon be artillery, young one. Uh, oh, actually, no, we're not sending a cannon all the way down there. Why don't you get yourself... Yeah, let's get one of my Ogichita down there. Not one of you. One of the ones without mountains. There you go. Go all the way here. Keep Spartacus company. He gets lonely sometimes. New research agreement. Oh, we need to start signing those, too. We're getting cash now, so it should be a little easier. The Sioux have denounced me. Very well, very well, city spammer type passive aggressive guy. Denounce me all you want, but you will suffer for it. Um, looks like they are gearing up for war against us, but I'm gonna let you know a little secret. These cities are not gonna last long if we have artillery in play. And uh, it's almost a good excuse to kill the Sioux. If they're denouncing me, it's a good time to declare war. But uh, so far, so good, guys. We have finished our war against the Cree. We have the cities we need. They're building circuses, which is what I want to see. And we are moving on, pushing toward uh, our strategy of domination victory here. 
going for Monte Alban, going for probably Tenochtitlan, and then seeing what else the world is going to throw at us. My guess is a lot, a lot of very angry Sioux. So until that point happens, I have been Urs. This has been the First Nations Free For All, and I will see you all next time. Till then.